Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's part science and part art, anodizing more specifically, how to anodize this Asfine V200 titanium fountain pen to give it a real stunning custom look and added durability. Anodizing is an electrochemical process that not only enhances the metal's appearance, but also protects it from wear and corrosion. And the best part, you can do it right at home. To anodize your pen, you're going to need some wires with crocodile clips to attach to the batteries, some nine volt batteries, enough to get to the voltage that you'll need, a stainless steel spoon or fork to act as the cathode, some titanium wire to attach to the piece that you're anodizing, some gloves for safety, some plastic containers, and also some baking soda. It's a baking powder there, but I ended up using baking soda, which seemed to work a little bit better. And then I've got some optional vinyl uh, stickers or decals as well. I'll just quickly go through the steps of disassembling the V200. So the nib section screws away from the main body. Just make sure you keep hold of the O-ring. The nib section come away from the nib itself. I've got the Tom's Studio titanium flex nib on here which I'm going to anodize as well so I'm, I'm going to take that out that should just wiggle free it takes a little bit of effort here bear with me there we go keep that separate to the feed the top of the cap will just unscrew with some pressure you might need something to grip here this one should come away relatively easily so you've got the top ring there, which is titanium. You've got the top of the cap, which is titanium. And then you've got the clip itself, which is a combination of stainless steel here, riveted to the titanium piece. The bottom we've got titanium on acrylic, and we're gonna to need to be very, very careful when we're, when we're cleaning this up to avoid any damage to the acrylic so we're not going to use acetone on this i'm going to use isopropyl alcohol the bare metal pieces like this we can use acetone to give a thorough clean and the tom's studio nib as well we can clean up with acetone this nib section here again isopropyl alcohol we can maybe use acetone on this bit here making sure that we steer clear of any acrylic towards the end then we're on to the piston filler where we need the special wrench that just goes onto the flats you if you hold the wrench and rotate the pen clockwise this will start to come undone and then just pull straight out so again we've got a combination of stainless steel here on the, on the titanium end so we're just going to make sure that we steer clear of any of the uh, rubber parts with any acetone but we can use acetone to clean up this section here and if possible remove these o-rings as well to show you this it's best to get something made out of plastic like this little toothpick from my po pocket knife you can get that underneath these o-rings keep them to one side so you don't lose them and they just come off one by one just be very careful not to lose this piece it does stick to the body of the pen itself but it does come off and it, there's a particular way that that goes on there's just a, a bit of a lip here that means that it sits nice and flush with the top of the pen so that's the pen fully disassembled we can then move on to cleaning and I've got a combination of isopropyl alcohol and nail varnish remover or acetone. First of all, I'm just gonna go through and clean the metal only parts with acetone. This cleaning step is really important because this ensures that you get a good even color. I want to make sure that I don't get any acetone on the acrylic parts. So make sure that you've got clean fingers when you touch that and then just being very careful it's 
last piece here with acrylic. I'm going to use only isopropyl alcohol. Try and give it the best clean that we can. And pop that into the solution. I stuck the vinyl stickers onto the nib section here and they do look really cool, but unfortunately this doesn't quite go to plan as you'll see in a second. So I've just wrapped the titanium wire around the nib section here. And then what we do is connect the positive lead, the red one that I've got there, onto the end of the wire. And then it just gets dipped into the electrolyte solution. The spoon in the water has got the black clip on it and that goes to the negative of the batteries. So this gets dipped into the liquid and you can see it bubbling there, which is a good sign to start off with. However, once the nib section is in the water and those bubbles start to lift the vinyl stickers off, so I had to abandon that idea. And this is the results with those vinyl stickers actually taken off. You can see it starting to anodize. A really nice blue towards the tip and towards the threads it started to go purple just to remind you what the pen looked like to start off with as a comparison when everything was completed i did actually manage to get some stars on the nib the nib section in blue and then purple to blue on the top and there you go you can see the detail of the stars on the nib itself so to recap, anodizing your Aspine V200 titanium fountain pen is totally doable at home with the right gear and a little bit of patience to enhance both the look and the lifespan of your pen. And you end up with something that is completely unique. It's a great weekend project. Plus, who doesn't want to show off their customized rainbow pen? If you learned something new or just loved watching that transformation, give this video a like share it with your fellow pen enthusiasts have any questions or want to show off your anodized creations drop a comment below i'd love to see them and don't forget to check out my other videos subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss what's next